Mr. Murphy here. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that I started a vlog channel. It's a second channel where I take you through a little bit of my life and I talk more in depth about books. So if you're interested in vlogs from me, an extra video a week from me, go check out that channel. It'll be linked in the description. On to the video. I've created a game. It's called Surely This Isn't In A Book. I What I've done is I've gone to my Patreon Discord server and I asked my members to find two uh, silly, goofy, outlandish quotes in books that they've read and then make up a quote themselves. And then in a spoiler bar, hide what the answer is so that I can guess it in video form. Basically, I'm playing two truths and a lie, but with funny book quotes. This isn't meant to make fun of anything. Any author that writes hundreds of thousands of words is bound to have a silly sentence in there somewhere. So, you know, take it all lately. But also please play along. So if you want to grab a pen, grab a piece of paper and try to keep track of your score as well. See how many of these fake sentences you can suss out and see if you can beat me. It's a competition. Try to win. Or don't. I'm gonna try to win. It was the kind of night where she could smell the moon thick candle wax dancing with the salty scent of the ocean, full and glowing. She stared at me in silence for a few moments and her eyes turned cold and forbidding. She seemed suddenly aware of her body and she crossed her arms ineffectually over her breast, the nipples peering at me like curious, snub-nosed children. I'm not gonna lie, I think that one's probably real. I've read too many, I've read too many scenes kind of similar to this. His eyes twinkled in the smoldering embers of the fire between us like a thousand little stars in sea of lush honey roasted orbs. Oh my. At that moment, I realized he was the man I could sacrifice my life for, since robbing the world of such a smoldering gaze would be a crime against the gods themselves. My golly! Um, so okay, so this one's kind of more focused on verbose language. I think the most ludicrous one is B, is the second one. But I feel like C is a bit, is a bit out there too. I'm going to guess that you made up C. Hey, one point for me. I'm already winning. I love winning. The top head would have controlled anything and made his poor little butt brother <laughs> miserable. I'm sorry. And I was some of the mud that got to sit up and look around. Some of the mud? Yeah, that's what it says. Lucky me, lucky mud. Gas is very much your friend in a hot air balloon. However, it is your enemy in the company of women. I don't know. All of those are very confusing to me. A, A is the culprit. The lie is C. Wow, that was good. All those were equally strange. My eyes roll out of my sockets into the palms of my hands. My jaw is dangling from my shoelace. My spine is conducting enough electricity to power a city. Okay, we're doing the prose thing again. I, I know that you hate these, um, I don't know, similes, what are they called? Um, I think A, because that isn't even a simile or whatever those are called, that's, that's just odd. That would be like, I'm picturing a skeleton talking. A. Hey, winner. The story so far, in the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. Oh, for goodness sakes. I carumba, chimichanga. I have no idea what you're saying, but shut your pretty pie hole. I have no idea what you're saying. This restaurant floating on the sea was regarded as the best one in the area, despite its atrocious service made of barely reformed thugs who would beat you to a pulp if you had not finished your dish before leaving. One needed to take a reservation months in advance. I'm gonna guess that one's correct. Um, I'm going to say B is the fake one. C, what? Oh man, I really like C. That was a really good one. Squeak, my geekiness is a quivering. That's from The Cursed Child, I remember that. I remember that quote. Oh, wow. What a terrible book. Screenplay, screenwrite. I don't care what it is, it was bad. If the light is off, then it isn't on. That better have been said with a condescending tone on someone who said they didn't know if the light was on or off. Cause otherwise it's a terrible sentence. Tut, I am in their bosoms and I know wherefore they, they do it. Um. C. B was the fake quote. Okay. 
Cool. She heard an ululating cry as the ground undulated beneath her feet. I didn't think through the consequences of the choices I've made. I asked my friends to do this for me, which is always a mistake to ask your friends to do something for you because they'll just pick the worst things they can. I did ask them to pick the worst things. I guess it's my fault in the beginning and end. Baba gum, what? <laughs> Baba gum, burnt, what? <laughs> The stairs were steep, but well padded. The wooden railing beneath their hands in unbroken undulations of lovingly crafted breast polished and oiled by countless sweaty palms. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? <laughs> why though? But why? The stairs were steep, but well padded. The wooden railings beneath their hands in unbroken undulations of lovingly carved breast polished and oiled by countless sweaty palms. <sighs> okay. B. B's the fake one. A is fake. Oh, I should have known. I got too distracted by the nonsense. Oh. That one, that one, that one took some life out of me. She looked at me with her eyes, but answered with her breasts. Vern could drink about 50% of the blues away, but there were always those nights with the full moon lighting up the cat's paws on the Pearl River when Vern thought about making a move on a female alligator. I'm overwhelmed by that sentence. She ordered, she ordered 27 ceramic heaters from Office Supply and gave them to her friends as wedding presents. What? <laughs> um, B. B is the fake. The fake is A. Wow. You know what? I'm so glad that A is the fake. I'm so glad. <laughs> he paused before the double doors and noticed the undulation of the guards' throats. I remember that quote. I actually, I put that in one of my screaming, I hate the word undulate videos. Links, if you haven't seen them, they're terrible. The beat of the drums sent an undulating vibration <laughs> rippling through her bones. My breath washes up in the white clouds like a snake undulating to su You're mean. You're mean. Um, they're all terrible and I hate everyone. I know A is real. Um, B, I'm gonna guess B. B is fake, great, nobody won. Men know that, they're, that most women want to have an emotional connection with someone before they sleep with them. Men know that a lot of women think it's romantic to be friends first. And then the friendship blossoms into a relationship. Men know that they have to jump through all these hoops. Oh, the burden of being a friend to a woman. Men know that they have to jump through all these hoops first before they can get laid. And that really is, and that's really all romance and courtship is to a man. Hoops he has to jump through to get laid. That sounds real. That sounds like something from a self-help written by a pickup artist. You know those guys on YouTube? I hope you don't, I hope you haven't found them. But you know those channels where it's like, how to, uh, oh, I can't even remember what the phrase is. I can't remember the term for it, but how to, insult a woman so that she'll want your approval. You know those pickup artist kinds of things? It sounds like something from that. Girl, you're hot and cold. That makes you warm. <laughs> it's a good line. I like that a lot. Um, he didn't take my flower and stop calling it that. Don't yell at him because you haven't been penetrated. Ho, oh, oh. B. B's the fake. No, I want C to be the fake. So I'm, I'm guessing C. B is in fact from a rap song. All right. So those other two, they got published somewhere. The last way eggs can be prepared is boiled. And the trick to preparing a boiled egg is to remember you will die. <laughs> ah, I forgot. <laughs> I was, I was, I was skimming through this channel as people were posting things and I saw this and cracked up and then realized I shouldn't be in this channel and I shouldn't be reading these until we're, until I'm doing the game. 
and I forgot about it and it's still funny. Fortunate is if her skirts do not catch fire and if the nurse does not give herself up a sacrifice together with her patient to be burnt in her own petticoats. Fortunate it is if her skirts do not catch fire and if the nurse does not give herself up a sacrifice together with her patient to be burnt in her own petticoats. Okay. Only time will tell if we stand the test of time. <laughs> that one's real. Um, oh, I hope, I hope it's B. I hope it's B because A was brilliant and, and C, I just, I just, it, I believe it. I believe it. Answer is C. Oh, well that's good actually. Her lips were plush like the fur of a cat. Her lips were plush like the fur of a cat. Do you want to kiss someone with furry lips? Fur isn't even plush, like that, fur is soft ideally, but it's, it's a terrible simile. That's terrible. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. <laughs> <laughs> when my hand lay on her calf, I felt the constant twitching play of muscles. It reminds me of the way a horse twitches its hide to repel flies. Well, get your hand off her calf! Um, A. I hope it's A. B? Oh, man. Ugh, I really liked that one. If you need help, bark like a dog. <laughs> That's stupid. If I need help, I'll shout help. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I was fighting the urge to fling myself to my knees before her and put my face between her breasts and go bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. <gasps> uh, I don't know the context of this, but I don't care. It's terrible. His eyes sparkled like the first laugh of a newborn baby, and she held her breath, fearing she would never see the, such beauty again. <laughs> um, I hope A is real. I hope B is fake, but I'm gonna guess that C is the fake one. C is the made up answer. I'm mostly just disappointed that B exists. Do you enjoy pain? Pain don't hurt. <laughs> And so the cycle of innocence found, lost, found again, and finally lost is complete. Just as a peanut is neither pea nor nut, and a thigh master is neither a thigh nor a master, so our hero learned that Netflix and chill means neither Netflix nor chill. And if you're just learning this from the, for the first time, welcome to the end of your innocence. <laughs> I hope that's real, because that's so stupid. Stupid. <laughs> oh, I said none of this is personal, but I am being very insulting. We would love it if you would join us for lunch to discuss amputations. We love amputations and firefighters at Metro Gen. Anyone else coming? What? Um, pain don't hurt is brilliant. So I hope that's real. And I hope B is real. I'm gonna guess C. A was fake, aww. She presented such a stunningly erotic picture that for a moment I could not have moved even if I had known a goblin was bearing down on me with murder in its eyes. <laughs> he slammed his fist into the gun firing button. <laughs> oh, that one really got me. Oh no, oh no. Bill's whole body convulsed with violent spasms, prisoner to the stutter he'd overcome so many years before. Aw. Oh. Um, I hope... I hope C is fake. I hope C is fake because both of... both A and B are brilliantly ridiculous. C is fake! Oh, we all win today. The anger started in his groin, bubbling up, once it reached his lungs, Paul was angry. So anger starts in the groin, but you, anger doesn't become anger 
Anger doesn't actually make you angry until it gets to the lung area. Sounds scientific. I believe it. She stands by the edge of the bed, baggy in nakedness, and goes off into the bathroom to do her duty. There's that and women repels him, handle themselves like an old envelope, tubes into tubes, wash away men's dirt, insulting, really. Faucets cry. We have to show them that we believe in our beliefs as much as they believe in theirs. <laughs> I hope B is fake. I'm gonna guess B just because I don't want it to be true. C! Wah! It's actually a line from the last Airbender movie. We have to show them what, that we believe in our beliefs as much as they believe in theirs. If it's from the movie, I believe you. Okay, last one. I hope you've been doing better than me. Cultists and librarians struggled against one another, and I glimpsed Mr. Quinn bashing a man in the face with what appeared to be a very heavy dictionary. <laughs> I haven't got a pot large enough to make seven dragons worth of cherries jubilee. Would chocolate mousse do? Aw, that's cute. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. If you're gonna name our kid after weapons, then name them something badass, like switchblade or knife to the eye. <laughs> I hope that one's real. Um, I'm gonna guess. Aw, oh, man, I like all of them. Do I want Name your kid something awesome like Knife to the Eye, which I agree, Knife to the Eye is a great name. Do I want the adorable, I don't have, I can't, I don't have the ingredients to make this, would you, would a chocolate mousse do? That's super cute. Or someone getting bashed in the face with a dictionary. Two are violent, one is adorable. Which one am I gonna choose? I'm gonna choose the adorable one not to be real. C. Aw, that's too bad. That one was my favorite. Okay, let me know how you did. What, how many points did you get? I don't know how many I got because I forgot to keep track, but I think I did poorly, but I did have fun. And I hope that you had fun too. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your, what you, how many points you got. Also, if you wanna keep playing, feel free to grab some funny quotes and make one up on, on your own and post them in the comments. And then you can do the space, 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 spoiler thing for what the answer is so people can keep playing in the comments and make their own guesses to what everybody's saying. I think that would be fun. I would love to read through some of the things that you manufacture, but I'm also really excited to see how many points you guys got and if you beat me. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you again soon. Bye.